Thanks, Michelle. Uh, we are now joined by John Greenberg, who helped report on two of the stories analyzing the YDN poll results. Um, so there's often debate about just how liberal Yale University's political culture is. What did the poll results tell us about that? Uh, well, we found out that campus is about two-thirds liberal. Uh, Sixty-seven, roughly, percent of students said that they were either liberal or very liberal. Um, and only 11.86% uh, of students said that they were either conservative or very conservative. So conservatives are outnumbered more than five to one on campus. All right, so one of the biggest headlines here um, is that uh, of the students who support one of the major party candidates, only 5% back Trump. Um, but what specifically about Republicans on campus? Where do they fall in this picture? Um, yeah, so we found that actually more Republicans on campus, or at least students that identify as usually supporting the Republican Party, are voting for Hillary uh, over Trump. 29.92% um, of students that identify as Republicans are voting for Hillary, and 26.14% are voting for Trump, uh, which I at least found very surprising. Um, could you tell us more about the discrepancies and enthusiasm between Democrats and Republicans on campus? Yeah, so um, the average we found uh, for people that are definitely voting in the election uh, was 85%, roughly. Around 85% of students said that they were definitely going to vote in the presidential election. Now, Democrats, students that identified as Democrats, uh, about 90% of those students said that they were going to vote and only about two-thirds of Republicans on campus said that they were definitely going to vote. So, you know, a huge gap there. Um, and about 30% of uh, students that, that identify as Democrats said that they were frustrated that Hillary was their party's nominee, and over 80% of Republican students said that they were frustrated that Trump was their nominee. So, obviously, uh, clearly, um, Republican students are not happy with Trump or just with this election in general. That's kind of the takeaway from, from the data. All right, well, um, what about third parties? Um, is there a lot of support for third party candidates like Libertarian nominee Gary Johnson and Green Party nominee Jill Stein? Uh, no, uh, only about 3% of students are voting for third party candidates, Jill Stein or Gary Johnson, um, which is, you know, obviously, I didn't think a lot of students were going to vote for Johnson or Jill Stein, but I certainly expected more than 3%, so that surprised me. All right, well, uh, thanks so much for coming by, John. Yeah, thank you for having me on the show. And from everyone at YTV, thanks for watching. The vaccines contain antigens from the flu, and it makes the body create antibodies, which are protective against the virus. But how effective are these flu shots? And why are we encouraged to get them every year? There's no